Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again. We are carrying it on. We are seeing who we might get and today we are doing Tainted Mastema. No, we did Tainted Mastema recently. I'm getting a lot of the same characters at the moment. Uh, let's, do you know what? Let's just take a look at who we haven't played Tainted wise. Obviously Tainted Kane we haven't played because he's a big goober. Tainted Eden, Tainted Lost. Oh god, Tainted Lost. Um, Other than that, I don't think there's anyone. What about um, vanilla characters? Anyone we haven't played? Apollyon. Okay, do you know what? We'll play Apollyon. We'll play a regular Apollyon. We haven't played him, so there you go. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to say, I like the randomizer, but I don't want to force myself to use it or stick to it. I'm just trying to get characters that we haven't maybe played in a while. And So if the randomizer doesn't really give us what we want, we can... We can say no, and we get Deadeye off the bat, which is an incredible pickup. Also, an incredible respray. An incredible respray indeed. Oh my god. Um, and let's go into the question of the day. What was the most recent nice thing you went out of your way to do for someone? What is the most recent nice thing you went out of your way to do for someone? For me, just a little small thing. I just went and got my girlfriend some sweets without any prompts to she just wasn't having a great day so i went and got her some sweets <laughs> because we are like both kind of dieting at the minute uh 50 higher angel chance okay um we are both kind of dieting at the minute so <laughs> she was a bit like hey uh but at the same time at the same time do you know what this is kind of an interesting room you can play it however you want uh but i'd rather grab that and I'm very glad that I did. There's a damage up. And we get ourselves an Anzus. Which, honestly, I'm going to pop for the secret rooms. Um, with Deadeye here, we should kill these guys pretty quick. We have double damage right now, so there you go. Um, yeah, I'm going to say, like, she was a bit like, hey, you shouldn't have got me that. But I was like, at the same time, she needed it. So, <laughs> uh, like, I'm trying to think of other um, other examples. A half Solar here is actually really nice. Kind of an interesting room there, one that I don't think I'll be taking in myself, but pretty useful. If you want to uh, spend some health to get some stone chest loot, considering you can blow up the stone chests first as well. And there's another bomb, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh god, I hate this. Where do I need- I think I need to be here, right? <sighs> have I lined this up right? Have I lined this up right? Yes, I have. Good. Okay. And- oh, ho, 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 yes. Okay, I think we use it in this room here. There's there's not too many rocks in the way. I'm just going to try and get everything else out the way that I can. And I think, yeah, we use it in this room here. And we should be able to get a good amount out of this. Let's get to the corner. Well, obviously, we're hoping for Petrified Poop as early as we can. But regardless, I'm hoping for at least one Soul Heart. Potentially get up to 15 cents to take advantage of the shop. It might be quite nice. But yeah, I, I gotta say, like, even if it's just a really tiny thing, even if it's just something that you you, you don't even really consider a kind act, like, even just earlier today, um, I always try and, like, I, I, I won't say I go out my way to do it, because sometimes I don't really go out outside the house, but when I'm out and about, I always try to, like, hold the, uh, hold the gate for people, and I had a person yesterday that had just moved into the apartment complex and was asking for the codes for the doors and stuff, so I helped them out and kind of showed them, um how to get in and out, which is risky because I didn't actually know if he lived there or not, but considering he had quite a lot of his stuff inside the building, I was going to say it's fairly safe to assume. So far, not so good on the petrified poop route. Apparently, you can hit two poops at once now. I, I never knew you could do that, so we can speed this process up just a little bit. Come on, petrified poop. I got it on Blue Baby in like the, sec the second room the other day. Now it wants to be like this with me. Come on now. Okay, I think this is about it. Yeah, this is taking a while to get petrified poop. It's taking a while to get much, to be honest. We've got a few pennies here and there, but not much else. But we should still get to 15 cent regardless. I'm really hoping we get at least one soul heart out of this. I think cutting his humanity is potentially one of the best cards in the game if you get Petrified Poop early. Well, not even 50% of the way done yet, though, so we've got time. I realise this is wasting time, so Boss Rush probably isn't going to be super likely, but it is what it is. <clears throat> it is what it is. But yeah, it's always nice to, uh, to go out your way to do something nice for someone, even if it's something small. But, like, I I've been listening to... Um, I think I've spoken about it before. The Good Place is a TV show I really like. There it is. 
Um, I've been listening to the Good Place uh, podcast recently, and there's a, a pretty big emphasis on that show on do something good. The um, the host Mark Evan Jackson, who plays one of the characters in the show, um, he always ends off the um, the show by asking uh, each of the guests what what thing have they done recently that's good, or what's something that they believe in that's good. And it, he always ends off by saying, "Go do something good." I don't know, just kind of it's it's a nice little motivator. I know it's always like. You don't. You shouldn't really need motivation to go and just be nice. I mean, just having general human decency and treating others like you want to be treated is just how everyone should live. But still, it's nice to just kind of remind yourself sometimes, hey, I could maybe surprise, like, my partner or your mum or your dad or your sister or your brother or a friend with something nice by, I don't know, buying them something or doing something for them. Something that I'm really bad at, um... Just because, I don't know, I'm a man, I guess, <laughs> is uh, cleaning up. I'm really, really, even though I'm in the house all the time, I'm really inattentive at cleaning. So I do try to uh, be, whenever I get reminded, I always try and uh, be a bit more attentive to cleaning the house. Because my girlfriend works crazy hours and really doesn't want to do it when she gets home. So really, it is my job and I should be doing it more. There's that one soul heart. That's all I needed from you. We've also managed to get... A lot of money, but you can see how many poops we cleared before we start, before we got petrified poop, and we're still at 64 cent already, and we're gonna get even higher. And there's potential for even more soul hearts on this as well. Like, it's a low chance, definitely, but there is potential. And we already got a luck penny as well, which is really good. Card against vanity, one of the best cards in the game. It's so good. It's time-consuming, definitely, especially with low fire rate that we have right now. But it's really, really useful. And there's the other soul heart. Very, very happy about that. Even if we don't get any more soul hearts, I'm going to be very pleased. We might even reach 99 cent, you know. It's looking kind of likely. And then I go, like, 10 poops in a row without getting anything. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. I'll take a rotten heart as well. There you go. We're very, very close to 99 here. I think that's everything. I'll take the rosary back now. But we got to 95 cent. And that's pretty good going. Um, I don't want the piggy bank. Let's do some re-rolling here. Manuscript is pretty good using cards and pills. I think it's, or is it just cards? Gives us half a soul heart. I like that. That's really nice. Um... Doubles all your trinket spawns, gulps a trinket at the end of each floor. Yeah, we'll take that as well. Um, Destock is always interesting. Um, I suppose I could void it, maybe? Restock the current shop. Hmm. I will void that, you know. Red stew. Uh, I, we we kind of have to be quick here now. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to take King Baby. I will take a card, though, because I'll get half a soul heart of that. And let's go. Pretty damn good first floor. You see? We got one... We got four items, extra trinket spawns, and something in our void. And also the strength card, which was uh, kind of amazing there. And down we go. And we've still got money left over. This has been pretty good. <laughs> Very lengthy first floor. Very lengthy first floor, but good stuff. I was like, why the hell are my tears so big? But then I realized Red Stew plus um, the double damage that we're getting from uh, Dead Eye is pretty good. <laughs> Hopefully we get... Um, this is insane. Hopefully we get ourselves a key here soon to go to that shop. I'd love to do that. Magician here. I'm just going to be popping cards like crazy here for that hard soul heart every time. <clears throat> just pop it there. Give us a half soul heart. Extra soul heart there as well. There's at least a key for our item room. And I will take that. I will also pop that. And pop that. Ooh, what the hell? That's a new beggar. What do you, what do you pay out with? Hello. 
You gave me increase the chance for uh, tainted treasure rooms. Tainted treasure rooms can spawn in chapter four. Shopkeepers now always have coins in their eyes. I'd rather take that for now. More money. I realize I'm wasting time here, but I just want to see what else this guy can give us. Ooh, that's good. Okay, I'm going to leave you for now. Maybe he just gives you trinkets. Either way, that's some good stuff right there. That is some good stuff. We did get a tainted treasure room here. I'm going to check this one out regardless. I know it could crash our game. I'm just too tempted by it. Quickly do a, a thingy. I'm, I'm so ready for it to crash my game. Oh, wait. I, do you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I was going to be like, yeah, 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 we'll go in here. Also, we've lost like half our damage already. Oh, it's because Deadeye's not procced. Um, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, we'll go in there. And then I realized, actually, that's a stupid idea. For one, because we can't, because we don't have enough keys. But also, just generally, we don't really need to. Um, I'll bomb you. Get another half heart to play you. And I'll bomb you. Beautiful. And then actually, yeah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Let's, get, let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, shop right now, not very viable. Just because we don't have the money. This guy is getting demolished, holy hell. Our damage right now is absolutely kicking. I will check out the devil deal here, see what we might get. The Necronomicon isn't something I'm willing to take, really, so I'm just going to leave that for now. Hey, another soul heart, though. That's not bad. Um, and we'll get gone. We shall get gone. Ooh, I forgot about this. Okay, this is pretty good. And we did get a crawl space as well. Uh, what the hell? It spawned me on top of that. Uh... I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I will be taking Molten Dime. I can't take this out, so... I'm just going to pop it. Why not? See what we get. That's good enough. This thing's silly. This thing's silly. Using Void has a chance to spawn an item that was previously voided. Stat bonuses. I'm, I'm not taking Void anymore, unfortunately. Uh, I, I love Void. It is a fun... It is definitely fun, but... At the same time... Wait a minute. Does that have a charge in it right now? It does. It would Void... It would Void all of these. I don't really want that. Yeah, Molten Dime's just too good. It's too game-breaky. Especially with Car Battery. With Car Battery, it's just game over. So, I'm going to take this and, um, and destroy the game. I will take Circle of Protection here. Circle of Protection with our current damage is actually nuts. <laughs> good, good. Another lucky penny. Wow. I'm hoping for more bombs here, really. More bombs would be really nice. And there's one. Right on cue. Not really what I was looking for. Maybe I shouldn't have taken 4.5 volt. I don't know. 4.5 volt is always one of those ones where I feel like if it's an item with three charges or less, it's worth it. But it's not always. Like that's on, that, that formula isn't always the end all be all. But yeah, we're probably going to have a pretty broken run here. Check this out. Scatter bombs. They've got a pretty cool new sprite. Um, I've got no bombs right now, so I'm going to take scatter bombs. I know that I could reroll for something better. Devil card. I probably should have just popped that in the other room. A bit weird to pop it there, but there you go. <clears throat> but yes, I'm sorry, Void, that you got taken away, but the opportunity here. Oh, Soul of Lilith. Boiled baby. Conjoined already. Bacana. I don't know. Is actually conjoined good? I forget how conjoined works with Deadeye. Or multi-shot in general works with Deadeye. I think it's fine. There's another key. Good, good. 
I'm not entirely sure, though. Should be getting a lot more luck pennies as well. Oh, yes, one of my rooms. So many poopy boys. I think I think uh, Conjoined has kind of made Deadeye not so good. I'd love to take the cracked D20, but... Yeah, it's definitely made it n not so good. We're, we're missing a lot more shots now, technically. But at the same time, we are able to build it up reasonably easily. Especially if we stand close. Haven't quite got the crazy red stew damage anymore, but that's okay. Definitely taking growth hormones. And we will be on our way. <clears throat> Probably should have gone to the shop there, because the shop can be pretty busted. Um, I'll buy that just to have it. And I think the rest we want to, yeah, do that just in case. Didn't get anything out of it. Damn it. Glowing Hourglass is so broken with Void, so it would have been nice to have had Void there, but it is what it is. We got so much money here, which is really nice. Cracked key there, kind of like a budget solar cane. I'll pop my solar cane in here. There we go. Lovely. Uh, excuse me? I think my circle of protection just screwed me there. Strength card. Boy! Sacred Heart, hell yeah. Okay, now with Conjoined, Dead Eye should be pretty decent. Shouldn't have an issue. Oh, I don't know why I picked that up. I should have Molten Dimed that. Definitely should have Molten Dimed that. It's okay. It's not the biggest of deals. We're taking some dumb damage here and there. But it's alright. It's okay. I love this toy plane. Does pills trigger it too? Ah, oh, it's got balls of steel there. It doesn't. Feels like I'm walking, walking on, on sunshine. sunshine. God damn, love me some Sacred Heart. I love the Sacred Heart resprite as well. It looks so much more like badass. And like fit befitting of its holy power. Nice. So much money. Deep pockets, you're the best. Okay, we can finally go into one of the tainted treasuries. But I always feel like once I've got a lot of items, it's got a much higher chance to crash, so... I'm giving up. I've been checking the patch notes of the mod periodically to see if anything's been fixed. Unfortunately, nothing in the patch notes about crashes thus far, so... I don't really want to risk it. I apologize for you guys that really want to see the tinted items and stuff. They are really cool. I would love it too. It just, I, and I know I bang on about this way too often when they show up, but it just kind of ruins the flow of the videos a little bit when I have to constantly reboot the game. It's a, it's a very high risk at the minute. Right. I, I, I will go in here, to be honest. Worth it for the money, to be honest. Wasn't expecting that much doll hairs. Okay, here's the boss. Let's go get second secret room first. Need some more bombs yet again. Trinkets in the way here. Darn. That's pretty good for flight. That's good for buying things. Okay. The flight and speed here that we've got is really nice. Give me the cricket's leg. Okay. We're good to go. We're good to go. This run is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Okay. 
Devil deal first. I think Sanguine Bond is a good idea here. I like Sanguine Bond, and I think this is good for this. Ah, we're getting unlucky at the minute. We haven't had any Molten Dime procs yet. No proc chains going on. Oh, hello. Lost Contact. Kind of an interesting one. Might not be so good, because we've got um, kind of low tier rate right now. In fact, very low tier rate. Why have we got such low tier rate? I mean, I guess I don't care. <laughs> We're doing so much damage that it really doesn't matter. But I was just wondering is all. Ooh, kind of an interesting prospect there. Potential to spawn an item. Big pill. Oh, the double look. We're at five luck already. Okay. Soul of Isaac's kind of interesting here, too. Sad Bombs. I think Sad Bombs is worth picking up. It's more bombs, which we've been kind of asking for. But also, Sad Bombs plus Scatter Bombs? I'm not exactly sure how that works, but I imagine it being pretty cool. Have I had that? I must have had that synergy before, but I don't, I don't remember it off the top of my head. Ooh, Chewed Penny. Um, yes, please. Chewed Penny plus Molten Dime. Boy, we are in for quite the treat. We are in for quite the treat. Now, something I've been told is a good idea to do is playing the Sack Room with Molten Dime. So I might have to give that a go if we if we get the health to make that worthwhile. Meanwhile, I continue to get hit pointlessly. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Both of those items are fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, it does work the way I thought it would. Okay, let's try and get some more money. Because, okay, so there's one of them already. But this one first. If we can get potato pack as well, that would be incredible. Because that's going to mean that not only do we charge faster, but when we use cards and pills, which already give us soul hearts, we're going to get uh, charges too. Four pennies that time. Ow, that was kind of rude. Is there a point to this room? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I mean, uh, to be fair, we might as well play the chompy chest a little bit. I'm going to say it because we might get something good. Um... Right. Trying to figure out a way that we can get around this and try and get some money. Goddamn, Chewed, Chewed Penny could end up screwing us out, but I, I like it. Let's do the boss first. It duplicated it. Damn it! <laughs> you bastard of a game. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just go for it. Right. See if there's anything we can do. Anything at all we can do. Nah, not really, unfortunately. That's a shame. Um, I guess I'll buy that, though. That's pretty nice. And down we go. Yeah, if it's an item I feel like I don't need, I'm going to try dupe it. You know for a fact I'm going to try dupe it. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. There is some good stuff in here. Don't know why I really bothered bombing that. That's the, the, the sigil of Baphomet. 
is insane. It's a real shame to have to leave that behind. I need to remember to bring uh, thingy money down with us. But to be fair, we just got a little clot, which is also very, 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 very good. So <laughs> not complaining too much, I'll be honest. Not complaining too much. Got an item in here. Okay. Got our mother transformation. Right. So, I think we leave that for now. We try and dupe it. It'll probably fail, but we try. The game's been kind of screwing us recently, so... Excuse me? Okay, we got another item. We also got a luck upgrade. Luck up. So that, that meant we got one pass, one fail. We're looking for double pass. How does 9 volt even work with 4.5? I don't even know. Does it work? Ooh, okay, double cards here. Death. And... Death. Good, good. Right, now... Ooh, actually, there's a secret room right here. I, I think I missed that, but my... my like I was gonna say, my scatterbomb should get it. And they did. Another balls of steel. Wow. Getting quite lucky with us. Right. Back we go. Please, please, please work for us, game. That would be so, so nice. You little bastard. Why is it being so rude? PJs. We can double PJs. We don't need PJs right now. Come on, game. Just be nice to me for once. Okay, let me bomb through some of these... Doors, because I'm getting really frustrated at not being able to get down to where I want to go easily. Do I have to bomb this every time? Game! Oh my god! It. I'm getting super unlucky right now. Like, because I've got car battery, it's like a 20. Is it, I think it's only a 25% chance to lose the item. Because it could duplicate it or. Um, it's close. Oh, what the hell? That block just went the wrong way. Um, because it could duplicate it, or double duplicate it, or double remove it. And it keeps double removing. It's like, come on now. It's just rude. Kind of an interesting one, there you go. It did it again. I, I actually can't believe how unlucky we're getting right now. That's more like it. Look at that. Now, I did pick up the battery, which complicates things. That's really good, though. Being able to hold two trinkets with what we've got right now is really good. Burger bombs is also really nice. take that. Do you know what? Why not just buy a school bag and then we can hold this as well. That's an interesting combo we got going on right now. Okay. Trinkets wise, we've got one over here I might as well grab. I've once again come down to the next floor with not enough money really. How come I don't have two clock boys? Oh, wait. No, I do. I do. I'm going to say double trinket effect as a passive sort of thing. Pretty pretty incredible. A lot of money. Thank you. Okay. Just a bit past boss rush. Okay, it can get rid of Polaroid and negative. Was not expecting that, I have to say. Mate, this is infuriating how more how like often we're losing with this. And 
that'll do with that. Okay, I have to give myself the Polaroid back. Give. It should not be able to work on this room. That's kind of dumb. It should have uh, protection on this room. The that, that was the chewed penny that did that, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, yes, please. Little Steven. Oh, we got double little Steven. That trinket is really funny and really good, so I'm going to take it. And the rest can bounce. Yeah, now our tears do this. <laughs> but they're herming, so they'll still hit. So Dolly's pretty useful there. Oh my god. The tear wackiness has started. The chewed, both our chewed penny and our, um, our malt and dying look this episode have been pretty poor. It's kind of unfortunate, really. So many trinkets, holy shit. Right. Just keep going the way towards the boss, or towards what we think the boss is at least. Just trying to get a, uh, a trinket that maybe synergizes a little better than what we've got right now. What we've got right now though is really good, so I'm not disappointed with what we have. How is this not where the boss is? Come on now. Uses the forget me now effect. If only that was on a better floor. Okay, I think we're going the right way now. Really should go back and get that stuff. I really should have taken contract from below actually. Cause then, we were, then we'd have got double doubled rewards, which would have been quite nice. Jawbreaker. With, five, uh, with seven luck, Jawbreaker's actually... Do you know what? Jawbreaker's definitely worth taking with seven luck. I'm going to be firing a lot of teeth shot. I think it's like 12 luck that it maxes out at. Or maybe it's just 10. I can't remember exactly the exact numbers. Okay. I love the baby sad bombs. They're so cute. And then when we go down to this floor, we'll end up smelting both these trinkets. A the double. I think I'm sure to take both of these because they're both damage. Devil deal. I'll definitely take that. Oh, with nine luck, we've got all T. Holy damn. Okay. Man, what is happening? Oh, I really should use that on the next floor. I really want that. Red Penny would have been actually really good. I'm re I'm, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed at myself for accidentally doing that because these two are going to smelt now. Yeah, they smelted. That, that was an absolute waste. I'm going to take this just for safety. Yeah, we're, we've got full teeth shots now, which is incredible because that's literally like three times damage. Pretty beautiful. I didn't realize it maxed out at 9. Look, I thought it was like 12. Okay, charge this bad boy up as well. I like the way when it spawns a chest like this, it's a chest that both have the exact same content. Rather nice, actually really nice. Kind of needed that. Grab both of those. Ooh, hello. We'll definitely take that. Try and get a few Eden's Blessings before the next run. A double soul heart. Okay, health is looking fine now. Okay. 
as Sackboy, not Sackboy, what's his name? Um, Succubus is doing insane stuff. I love that noise when you pick up two of those at once. It's going to be a very trinket filled run, I love it. Even with your shield, you cannot withstand. Holy, and it doubled it up. This time it works when there's no items involved. Pfft. It's got quite laggy in here. It has gotten quite laggy in here. Someone asked me to pick up this last time. Um, blasphemy. Whenever you buy an I every item in the Devil Deal, Satan's statue turns out a fallen angel. Bombing the statue will spawn a super hostile fallen angel. Give it a go. The lag in here has become quite unbearable. Like, out here, full FPS. Walk in here. Game literally dies. <laughs> okay, there's actually an item in here now which scares me. Do I dare do it again? It might crash my game if I do it again. All right, let's 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 make sure we're we're playing it safe. Let's. What the hell? Oh, devil deal teleport. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, it d deleted his item. All right, let's play this safe. Get the hell out of here. Exit. Continue. It's definitely gonna crash, so I have to try save myself here. Eden's blessing! Hell yes! Okay. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Why is it not getting rid of Eden's blessing? <laughs> Eden's blessing stands true. Okay, doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Okay then. Blast me got deleted and all of that. Sorry. <laughs> I tried. I mean, I kind of tried. That got real laggy real quick. Are you going to let me actually attack you at any point, please? There you go. I mean, I guess we do hush. We get rock bottom, just randomly, chilling. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Which room of these is worth getting rid of? We'll take that. This one, don't, don't screw us again, game. You... I trust, I, I entrusted you. I put all of my trust in you. And you are absolutely shafting me, game. How has it been this unlucky? <laughs> oh, as if I just use perks outside of the fight. My god, so many trinket spawns. He died incredibly fast. And it duped it duped them all as well. Right. I swear to god. Why do I even try? The game hates me. Why do I even try?
Okay, that, that worked out at least. Right. Away we go. This one paid out with enough money to grab this one. Ow. Bookworm off two books. We'll come back and dupe you, don't worry. Okay, um, what, when did I get to 116 damage? I get I've got rock bottom, but when did that happen? I missed that. Yeah, I missed that one. I'm confused, <laughs> truly. Ow. I keep creating ways to hurt myself. Just stupid at this point. Just annihilates everything, doesn't it? Oh my lord, it worked. And it's two items that I actually want. The stapler as well. Eight percent. Eight percent chance to activate dark arts when taking damage. That's not very good. Eight percent is very low. Hello there. More health. This has been a real wild ride. Plus six towards luck based here effects. Damn. Holy hell. I was like, what the hell's going on? But it's our trinket, isn't it? Holy penny. Hello there. Can we have two of you? We can. Oh my lord. Now that's a lot of damage. Holy shit. We have four boys. We have four boys. And a ghost. I don't know where we got all four of these from, but I'm down to clown. Oh, he died already. This is crazy. <laughs> Ooh, we'll definitely take that over one of them. What's this do? Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. Instead of upon using a pill, I'm like, I'm not using pills. <laughs> yes. Yes. And mate, are you kidding? Molten Dime has not carried this run the way I thought it would, but the run has still been insane. Oh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> that was very beautiful. Yeah, blur. Sorry, but I don't really think so. I also see you there, Dominic. You cheeky fucker. Okay. What you gonna give us, sucky chest? Some trash that I deleted all of. It never stops. Dirty beds still heal you, right? I can never remember. They do. By the way, I've also realized Toxic Shock is annihilating everything. <laughs> There's another Skrullex that... There you go. Yeah, Toxic Shock is doing a hell of a job right now.
Like that. This is kind of incredible. Oh my god, like one tier kills everything. Is that it? That is it. There's another red room up here that I want to check out. So many trinkets. Adoption papers would have been good earlier on, but not so good now. Okay, these halves have boss armor. That still doesn't mean jack shit to us, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> Maybe it got nerfed. There's a very strong possibility it just got nerfed. Because it was really overpowered. We gotta do Void. This is the run. If there was ever a run to do Void, this is the run. Why not? Would be better if we had proper mapping here so we could see a little bit more, but oh uh, well. What the hell? This room's hard to see in. Well, what's going on with the walls in this room? Ah, oh, it's confusing. Okay, I keep forgetting there's red rooms being created all over the place now. I need to be checking out. Oh, hey, Satan. How are you doing? Really? That was... Fair enough. <sighs> Sorry, certain. Maybe next year. Not quite enough on that first burst, actually. But they actually it was. <laughs> it was. Jumper cables have gone. Regret pedestals makes this so much more fun as well, because it means you know what you've lost. Regret pedestals is legit one of the best mods ever. It's so good. I think Toxic Shock will kill instantly most of these rooms. Not all of them, but most of them. If they have tinted enemies, anything with boss armor, it's not. What up, Gish? Everything else is going to die pretty quick. The double quarter. I guess I'll take both of these. Ooh, this is a good idea to grab. And you're gone as well. And this red room. Interestingly enough. This has been a romp and a riot. This this might be one of the strongest runs I've had in a long time. I've had some really strong runs. This one is, uh... This one's pretty fucking crazy. Like, as well, considering the... The unique parts of it that may that have made it up to be as strong as it is aren't really all that crazy in itself. Oh, this is Toxic Shock plus this permafrost thing is annihilation. Okay, no steam cell for me apparently. One bullet to kill one of those guys. That's madness. I keep forgetting that because we've got um, Mom's Box, we're getting double trinket effects. So this is why we're getting so many red rooms. Ooh, that could be nice. Oh, we got a free devil deal over there, look. Yeah, now we got Godhead Aura on some tiers, which I feel is going to be very strong. Is this room over? No? 
What the hell's left? Uh, there's some underwater boys. Yeah, we got a free devil deal over here, look. Which I'm not gonna utilize, thanks game. It must have been nerfed. Unless I'm just getting insanely unlucky compared to normal. Room's over. Another red room. Taking shortcuts. Another red room there. At this point, it's just what the hell. God. I think because of our luck, we're firing Godhead tears like all the time. That trinket just made it insane. It was already insane. It made it more insane. Hey, Blue Baby. Hi, Blue Baby. It gone. Big sad. Oh my god, the amount of trinkets. Where the hell is Delirium? I'm actually just beelining it to Delirium now. I don't need any more items. What we've got is more than enough. But I can't find him. This isn't him either. I mean... At this point? Yes. Delirium v. Delirium seems like a fun gambit. And with um, with our current setup, we'll get multiple charges, I think. Yes, we will. Most certainly we will. I don't even know where he is. My, my, my friend Lee has done nothing. Where the hell's the boss? I'm completely at a loss for where I'm meant to be fighting. Oh, there you are. Is, it, is this you? Is this who I'm meant to be fighting? I'm so confused. There's a charmed segment there. There's this dude here. Like, I don't know what's going on. Pop that again. I think we're... Uh, we're using it twice because we've got the little buddy. I don't know what's going on anymore. He died. <laughs> Well, that was pretty wacky. Is the game okay? Okay, there you go. It seemed like he just wasn't going to die there for a minute. Alrighty then. Well, that was pretty wacky. <laughs> delirium, meet delirium. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What a fantastic run. I'll see you guys in the next one.